Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. It really is. Look at it. What a picture. Today we're looking at Scholar's Retreat. It's another no low door home. This one's by Elfie Myrtle 3, who is turning out these fabulous mods with so many unique features. So let's get down and have a closer look. Okay, so I'll show you where we are on the map. There is Shroud Hearth Barrow and Everstead, and we are right here. You can fast travel straight away and it's free. And it is in the most beautiful location. All right, so we've got so much to look at. We've got a stable out here, a beautifully walled estate with all these gorgeous flowers and trees and plants, and it's just wow. And there are several entrances and exits. Ew. <laughs> uh, leading into the home. So I'll just do a quick tour around the outside. Look at that unburdened fountain. Beautiful, magical. And so are the doors. Wow, those are just carved perfection, aren't they? Imagine having a front door like that in real life. Yes, please. We've got a beehive right here. And this, wow, this whole gorgeousness situation going on. Outside lights. Oh, more views. Stunning, isn't it? I don't even know what to say. It is beautiful. An outdoor deck for sitting in an evening and chilling with my Inigo. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> okay. Down here we've got another deck, another entrance in. A bench with this lovely statue. It's like she's guarding. So this is a home for scholars. I feel like it suits me right down to the ground. Look at the ravens. Super nice. We've got a log thingy, pile, log, what you call it. <laughs> I've lost the power of speech. Wood chopping block, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh my god. Another entrance. Your oven, smelter, your crafting deck basically. There's your anvil. And this does require general stores. I think the last one did as well. Look at this. What a great place to do your crafting. Workbench. And so, obviously, if you know anything about that mod, you will know that the storage is epic. Tanning rack and your grindstone. And there is also the most beautiful alchemy area. I think I've gone past it. Hold on. There it is. Should have just turned around, it'd been quicker. I think I was so enamoured by the statue and the bench and the flowers and the view. So look at these, how nice the little planters on the wall. The detail is incredible, actually. So yeah, <laughs> this makes my heart glad, honestly it does. So we've got our alchemy area and this is so cool. We can turn the candle down, turn it back up again. Potions, poisons, I mean, look at that detail there. <laughs> the two pictures, the bats and whatever that is. So nice. Oh wow, Phoenix. How lovely. Oh, this is impressive, right? Okay, let's go in the front door. And, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it, which door we go in, but, oh, just gives me an excuse to go around it again. I love the ivy, these carved pillars, super beautiful. All right, so you've dropped your horse off at the stables, and in we go. I like that the fact that one of them is an unburdened fountain, but there's balance here, you know? Okay, so, no load doors. There's a lot to see. Isn't this absolutely beautiful? Dragon decoration, bookshelves, and all the bookshelves are named to contain different things, so you won't have any trouble finding them. Oh yeah, I do have a missing texture on my rug. I think it's just my game, you know? I have um, that many mods installed right now. So we'll ignore that. 
Khajiit records. <laughs> Even with a little Khajiit on the top. Same with Argonians. Oh, that's so clever. I like it. I love the wicker basket too. And my whole desk arrangement. Wow. Okay, so supposing it's a really horrible, nasty day outside. Dwemer Records. Oh my god, it's so comprehensive, isn't it? Uh, then you can close the curtains. There's a couple of buttons over here. Look at the artwork, by the way. How pretty. So one is for your lights and one is for your curtains. <laughs> wow. That is all cosy now, don't you think? Cosy and luxurious. Oh, hey, in a go. So down here we've got a kind of mm, dining arrangement. Cheese is on the table. Beautiful. Massive chest for general stores. All that storage right there. Cooking pot, which you can turn on or off. You know, get rid of the fire. Lovely. And then, oh, look at this. Turn the tap on and off. Cool. I shall just leave mine on, I think. And then the cooking fire you can turn on and off as well. Neat. Look at that cute little barrel. Oh my god, I love it. Such a nice display. And everywhere, you know, if you want these uh, curtains open, then just everywhere. Views, views, views. It's amazing. I'll just show you which door this one comes out at. There's a butter churn there, by the way. Okay, so that comes out by your wood chopping block. Remember the name this time. <laughs> okay, let's carry on around. There is a trap door down to a, the basement. You don't actually have to go down this if you don't want to, because you can get in there another way through one of the other doors and again wow okay this is really exciting because not only do you have all this beauty in here but look three robes so i've got wind mage robes and some hooded ones two pairs of slippers and some gloves a couple of spell tomes so indigo and i can be matchy matchy <laughs> Okay, so in my travels just then, I have re I didn't realise this mini wardrobe right next to the robes which I just came to claim for myself. Check it out. We have Earth Mage. They are nice. Fire Mage, some red ones. Basically, we've got Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw. <laughs> and uh, and um, Grey. Okay, cool. Love. Alright, moving on. Such a dork, I do know. And, um, yeah, my blinding staff enchanter. Good lord. Another activator for the curtains, but I'm not going to press it because look at them. They look amazing. They look knitted almost, don't they? Oh, my God, gorgeous. And as you go around the home, I mean, I'm not going to cover everything in this video. I have to say it right now. Um, download it and check it out for yourself because you will find spots for many, many, many special items. Shrine and Mage Stone. That artwork, gorgeous. The Wicker Sofa, how cute. I know that they are contentious. Some people hate them. I don't. So there's a, a door leading up onto the decking. That is beautiful. I love all these books everywhere. Oh, wow. And the stacks of them too. And there's places here for black books. Mythic commentaries. Elder scrolls. Claws. And masks over here. Paragons. That picture. Love it. Oh, it's warm and gorgeous, isn't it? And again, you can open and close the curtains at the touch of a button. And you just have this fantastic view. I mean, everywhere. Every single where. Everywhere you look. What an amazing place to build. And I love this picture. I think this one might be my favourite of all of them. Isn't that fab? The colours in that. And the frame. Everything is super beautiful. 
Okay, let's head to the bedrooms. All right, so heading in from the alchemy deck, for want of a better description, um, if you take a sharp left here, look at this door. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Wow, the detail on that is beautiful. And I love the color. Then you'll get into the bedroom. Again, you can activate the lights and the curtains. But I, wow, I love those curtains. I think they might be my favorite ones in this house. They are so nice. There's the button for those. Uh, the bed may be different. This is, I've got a mod called Ignoble Beds installed. I've got my own private dining area, you know, just in case I fancy something in the middle of the night. Somewhere for the, oh, all sorts of things. Crowns, etc. This made me smile. Where did I find it? Was it one of these? Yeah, earrings and piercings. <laughs> Uh, anything in the water? I don't think there was actually. I think there was just a ragged cap in there. Um, also in here, look at this. We have a toilet. We have a boiler. So we have hot water. Look at the pipework. And a shower. So cool. Oh my god, I love it. What a nice arrangement. And this patchwork. Again, love that. It feels quite appropriate to me. What do you think? All right then, onwards. One more thing down in the library here. Completely walked past it thinking it was just a desk. We have a workstation where you can make replicas of all of the things that you've collected out in the world. Some of these anyway. Look at that. How cool. So I can make myself a golden claw replica. Neat. Wow, scholar's supplies. Look at that tiny chest. Isn't that adorbs? Oh, nice. Linen wraps are such a nightmare to find. So um, great. That's perfect. Oh, I love. Okay, well, I have plunked myself on the roof to say goodbye and just to show you the amazing view from this place. Wow, it is absolutely stunning and as always oh hello dragon there may be things that i've missed so download it check it out and enjoy it because wow this is a beauty and i cannot wait to see what she does next so exciting these are exciting times in skyrim right now don't you think there's so many great mods coming out oh i can't stop looking at it okay i'll leave it here take care stay safe everybody